welcome back to my channel this is part three of the illustration i'm creating uh, of the evidence room of appleby castle so now i'm just removing the artist blue mask with the rubber and i normally use a rubber but sometimes I have to use my fingers as well because it's just very sticky and I find that this works quite well not 100% well but good enough for what I'm trying to achieve in this illustration I believe there is something special that um, there is out there that can be used to remove blue mask so I only learned about that recently so I might look into it and uh, buy buy that item by the way apologies for my previous video as I ended it really abruptly I'm just trying to get used to this uh, new software on my phone a power director so bear with me for now I'm trying how to to learn fast I'm really enjoying this program and um, so I might look into accessing more features so that I can uh, perhaps use other other features like um, create a, a video with um, other effects like uh, speed in the video and so on I think for now I'm going to look into a pain to have the power director logo removed from my videos I'm not sure whether it's a one-off payment of five pounds or five pounds a month. I'm sure it's just a one-off payment. So yes, I just need to look into it. And um, But if any of you know, uh, please let me know in the comments section below um, so now I'm just trying to create uh, well not cr not create I'm just painting some flowers and um, some of the the leaves and the little um, twigs they're not really twigs or tendrils anyway some sort of foliage that uh, will give a, a more beautiful effect to the tapestry and I'm just working working on the on the actual stems and I started with a with yellow again all over the stems and the flowers and then I'm going over with a light wash of green and then I try to apply darker shades of green to give a more dimensional effect to the leaves and uh, just to make it more natural more realistic and not not to make it look flat i really must try hard to learn the names of all the colors i'm using so that i can tell you what colors i i normally use i 
tend to stick to the same colors so perhaps um, that is my style it's part of my style just to stick to the same colors and I just mix them when I started painting you're going to laugh at this but when I started painting uh, 19 months ago I thought I needed all the colors I could I could um, get my hands on and I kept thinking I didn't have enough colors I didn't realize I was supposed to be mixing colors and create my own shades and hues and different tones and uh, when I learned that I found it really amusing and I realized I didn't know anything about painting about watercolors and um, I just had to laugh at myself because um, it, it was just amusing and I, I kept thinking I, I need I need this color and I need a, a purple like this and I need a blue like this and um, and a gray and I need a black and of course then the black sometimes is not good to use the black from the pan because it makes things um, the colors look really flat and it's better to create our own black color by mixing colors again and um, so it has been quite a journey for me to learn about how how watercolors work and um, and then the more I learned the more fascinated I was and the more I engrossed myself in my paintings in creating my illustrations and um, and now I find that it's becoming quite natural now to mix my colors it's almost as if I can see the color that I like to create and just mix it but then again I'm not creating over complicated uh, illustrations in my opinion my illustrations are quite straightforward and um, with some dedication and patience I'm able to create things that I find very appealing at least I find my own art appealing which is what it's important I suppose is how I feel about my my illustrations and um, and I'm really pleased because as I've said previously I I didn't know anything about painting especially in watercolors so the fact that I've come to this point makes me really happy I'm proud of myself sometimes I feel that I cannot get enough um, of painting I, I wish the days were longer so that I wouldn't stop and of course when the light changes then it's harder to be able to see the colors that I'm trying to to create one day I decided to paint <laughs> when the light um, there wasn't much light and it was actually um, about eight o'clock in the evening in winter and when I looked at my painting the next day <laughs> the colors were really dark and very dramatic so um, it wasn't exactly what I was trying to achieve so I learned a good lesson there that light is very important so you can see properly you, you can see what you're creating 
so I have just gone over orange and then I mixed uh, yellow and red to make a stronger hue of orange to paint the petals of the flowers and then I'm just putting um, this color around the petals not everywhere again so that I can give that sense of a three-dimensional object And now, as you can see, I, towards the end of finishing my painting, I'm just going over the outlines of the uh, main character, Bella. I like using a fine liner pen, black pen, and it's 0 0.5. And... Um, I just find that the finishing, it's a good finishing touch. Um, I do feel it, it just gives that extra element to my illustrations when I finish with a fine liner pen. So I worked on on the ceiling. You can see the light being reflected by the chandelier hanging from the ceiling and the tapestry and the carved wood on the um, on the bed you can see I try to create different patterns, triangles, dots, uh, zigzag lines and so on. I'm just giving you another view of the reference photo. So those are the curtains, the carpet, me there yawning, and the bed. And tan -ta -tan. <laughs> this is my final, final, final artwork so you can see Bella there her little feet the little puppy the dark furniture the tapestry the carved bed the chandelier the canopy the curtains the light coming through the window 
and um, I managed to fix the bed there at the end of the bed you can see that it's better than the original uh, painting well not the original painting at the start of my painting uh, it looked a little wishy-washy there but now it looks more like a proper bed towards the end of the bed and um, I hope that you would agree that the the uh, the my illustration is is quite close to the reference photo. <laughs> um, I'm really pleased, and I hope that you would agree with with me as well. <laughs> and if not, um, well, uh, please let me know as to how you think that I can make some improvements in the future but um, I'm really pleased I think it's uh, cartoon like which is what I'm trying to achieve so thank you so much so much for watching and I hope to see you soon bye